Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's a Mecca Media Morning Show. And I'm Miss Pursley. You already know. For the high room. Tell me something good. What up, Purs? Hey. How you feeling? You know I ain't complaining that nobody's taking on me. Hey, man, let me thank you in front of everybody. I appreciate you waking your ass up every morning, slugging it in here to make this morning show happen. You got it, man. <laughs> Thanks for having me, dude. I want to thank all the viewers and thank you for giving me, you know, the opportunity to be on this platform and do my little, do my little thug fizzle. A little thug fizzle? Yes, yeah, so it's, it's thug how I, location. thug life. It's what I do. Gangster. All right. <laughs> Only on TV. Okay. So, <laughs> why don't you go ahead and hit the people with some inspiration for the day? How about this? Your character is essentially the sum of your habits. Hey, that's facts. Your character is essentially the sum of your habits. If you have a habit of cussing all the time, you're a cusser. Okay. Okay. Speaking from someone who the Navy calls when the top admirals get promotions so that I can teach them how to cuss better. <laughs> <laughs> Not a brag. Anyways, uh, awkward flex. No, but seriously, it, your character is some of your habits. Um, do better. If you don't like what people think, if they're like, oh, you got a, you a thief. Hey, you steal all the time. <laughs> You got you got a habit of a kleptomaniac, sir. You don't like people's summation or opinion or view of your character. You might need to look at your habits. Maybe you need to realign some stuff, some sugar, honey, iced tea. You know what I mean? Hopefully that inspires you to do better. I know it definitely inspired me. I was like, dang it, I don't, I want to disagree, but it's true. Sorry, even if you don't like it, I got to do better. Motivation for purrs. Now that you've been given some inspiration for the day, it is time to move on to the information for the day. And as you know, we get all of our news and information from the recorded newspaper. So get your paper form, pull up your smartphones, send me smartphones, laptops, tablets, etc., 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 and go to www.thereportednewspaperonline.com. So today's article is a video link attached as well, which I'm not going to play the video link because you will see one of my habits. That is definitely a part of my character. Start to reveal itself. Just all willy nilly. All right. So African migrants and students experience racism while fleeing the Ukrainian war zone. Basically, um, one African migrants uh, and students that are in the Ukraine are being blocked from fleeing to safety as Russia uh, continues to attack the Ukraine um, and trying to make um, border crossings for those like basically impossible uh one father osa ruman he's a father of three said he and his family members were waved away from the border on saturday and told no black since then um he's been trying to get himself together and focus is as normal but that's been difficult i mean who can focus in a war zone all right moving on so um Osa Ruman, he's a Nigerian national who has lived in Ukraine since 2009, said he's currently stranded at a train station in Kiev, the capital city, along with thousands of others and are unsure on his next move. And I just have to raise my hand in the air and be like, can we not experience, are we safe nowhere? Okay, I'm going to put my soapbox away because that's not the purpose of this, you know, and I'm going to pass the soapbox over to Brother Hyrum for the Black Thought of the Day. Black Thought of the Day, and we're going to keep it right here. You know we're gonna keep it right here. So we're saying As I was hoping. that black people, Africans, are being discriminated against as far as leaving Ukraine. They just only letting your Ukrainians, if you will, um, go over into different countries. So the the train, the the, the 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 anything that they gotta go to get on to go out of the country, um, black people aren't allowed to participate. Matter of fact, I saw earlier where they kicked a woman off with her baby so they can let a white woman on there. This is really happening, people. What the hell is really going on? Now, um, granted, most of the immigrants are there or the migrants are there for school and stuff like that. These are people who are just there to study. Ain't got nothing to do with anything. And yet they're stranded in there because, hell, I've I seen a picture or, or one where they are in the, um, at, at the border. Literally, somebody have a camera recording this stuff happening in real time. Um, I don't know if it's on the website. Is it on the website, Purge? I'm not sure. Yes. They have um, the video links, and it shows it's a clip. 
Well, listen, that's my black Clips. thought of the day. Make no mistake, y'all. This uh, racism is everywhere. It's not just a United States of America thing. It's everything, man. Um, so keep your minds out. Our prayers are with, literally, those Africans in the Ukraine. Our people. Yes, yes. And we do feel for the Ukrainians. Um, you know what I'm saying? But our prayers is with our people as well and the Ukrainians. So y'all better film me before they kill me, y'all. <laughs> Shoot. Got me all worked out. Okay. Now I'm just jumping to, I'm gonna have to simmer myself, burn some sage, okay, and talk about something positive, okay? Like the black business of the day. All right. They keep turning us away. You send that money to Brother Wayne Pounds and get 23 of me. Okay? <laughs> Let's talk about the prophecy from the Brock James. All right. If y'all haven't watched the video and his uh, interviews, he's been actually on the Mecca Media Morning Show on AkronHipHop.com several times. So, uh, promoting his book. And he was he just here for all NBA All-Star Weekend. So, make sure y'all shout him out. Show love for the book. Go support it. You can get it delivered. I think you can also go. It's stocked in some bookstores as well. So, But there's more information on his website. That information is posted below. Y'all can read. You know what I mean? Read. Speaking of, yeah, speaking of reasons. Sorry, y'all. All of this discrimination has brought out a little shuck of me. Okay, so I, I'm just a, a jolly pies. Speaking of, if you want me to do better, money always motivates me. Hit me up at Cash App, dollar sign, M-Z-P-U-R-S-L-E-Y. You already know. If nothing else, stay up, stay black. Peace out. Star City Entertainment and Exclusive uh, Entertainment presents the Cancer okay. Awareness okay. Gala. Come out and enjoy live on, music man. from the Mike Austin Project. Great soul food with yeah. DJ Easy Money and BJ I'm the DJ. 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 This cabaret style gala will showcase yeah. and celebrate yeah. our victories regarding I'm our continued to battle to against celebrate. cancer. Our special oh guest God. speaker will be Dr. Nicole Fowler, MD. Okay. Remember to come out March 19, 2022, to the event center located at 2208 East Market Street, Akron, Ohio. And remember, come out, enjoy some great music, great food, while we celebrate our victories. Hi, my name's Vanessa. I'm a part of the new leadership team here at Louisiana. Uh, we are basically doing the same menu. We got whole wings, wing dings. We got our fish. Uh, we have catfish, perch, shrimp. Uh, we offer it grilled or fried. And we're doing the same sides that we always have, all homemade collard greens, mac and cheese, red beans and rice, mashed potatoes, uh, coleslaw, all the regular. We also have some fried gizzards still. Um, our, we have new operating hours. We're open during the week 11 to 7 and on Fridays and Saturdays 11 to 8, closed on Mondays as normal.